doing a lot of talk and a lot of recording and a lot of videos lately, so my voice is pretty drained. Okay, so let's get into the polls a little bit. This is week three where I talk about, you know, polls that I threw out in my community tab and just go over them just a little bit. Who would you rather perform at Super Bowl 58? Metallica, Imagine Dragons, Post Malone, or Dua Lipa? I had to throw in, you know, a lady artist and stuff because I ain't put Taylor Swift on this list. But I was surprised with how much love Post Malone got. But then Metallica, heavy, heavy favorites. And just kind of with like the dark, brooding Metallica heavy music and metal, Raiders, you know, I just had a mesh. I don't, I don't know why. But I think I've been rolling around the thoughts and the ideas of it's Super Bowl 58. It's in Las Vegas. You got to have a metal band go perform there. You got to have Imagine Dragons. You got to have something that is from Vegas or that embodies Vegas, which leads to my second question. Should hometown musicians from the host city of the Super Bowl perform at the big game? At the end of the day, it's a no because what brings in ad revenue and what puts butts in seats and makes them money and ratings is ultimately who's going to perform. Arizona musicians wouldn't have lived up to Rihanna's performance. Whether Rihanna's performance was good or bad, just the ratings would not have been the same. So there was more yes than no, and I, I would side with the yes. I mean, the Super Bowl is going to be in Las Vegas at Allegiant Stadium. We have Panic at the Disco. We have The Killers. We have Imagine Dragons. And so it's like, why not? Because those are three pretty respectably big artists. I've been to an Imagine Dragons concert. I debated going to a Panic at the Disco concert after I went to a 21 Pilots concert. So it's like, these guys can perform, these bands can perform. And so I think it would be really cool for the NFL, just like how they did with 56, where they brought out Snoop Dogg, Eminem, when it was at SoFi Stadium. I think it would be cool in turn to do the same thing for Whenever the Super Bowl's in Houston at Allegiant Stadium, whenever whenever it goes to AT&T. But that's how it should be, is the artist from that state and city should perform. There was the option of having Lizzo or Taylor Swift, and I was like, yikes, on both of them. Because, okay, yes, the NFL is going to make a lot of money if Taylor Swift performs. But the sad thing and how she has a grasp on like the music industry and basically the world with her Eras tour... It's like 60, 70% of the fans in the stadium will be there to watch her perform for 20 minutes. And because they want to watch her, ticket prices that are already high are going to skyrocket through the roof. And so to get a nosebleed to the Super Bowl, instead of spending a ridiculous seven grand, you will be spending a ridiculous 10 grand to 17 grand because Taylor Swift. Not to say that Taylor Swift can't put on a show or Lizzo couldn't put on a show, but it's like, you gotta look at it from that point of view too is joe burrow said it the best after he played at the super bowl where it's like regular fans should be attending the game not celebrities and you know big name people who oh five thousand dollars twenty five thousand dollars for lower bowl yeah whatever chump change it's like if taylor swift went to the super bowl and performed that is what would happen ad revenue would go up ticket prices would go up skyrocket through the building and then by the time the third quarter, fourth quarter rolls around, the stadium would be half empty because they would have all gone home. Anyways, I digress. Um, who's winning the SEC this year? Georgia, heavy favorites. I've got to agree. I think Georgia could 3 P, but we will just have to see. Who's winning the ACC this year? Florida State, North Carolina, Clemson. A lot of hype behind Florida State. i got to disagree with that. I think Clemson's winning it. Who's winning the last Pac-12 championship? SC, Utah, Oregon, or other? A lot of heavy favorites for SC, and I think it was funny because, like, when I was watching College Game Day, a lot of people are giving love to SC when it's like, they haven't won it in a while. Utah, back-to-back -back champs. Like, everybody's sleeping on them. But I think the Pac-12 is probably going to eat each other alive, and they're going to be eliminated by Week 10. Who's winning the Big 12? This one was even across the board. We got Texas, Oklahoma, K-State. Can they defend their championship? Sooners came out on top. I... I don't know. I'm leaning kind of towards Texas or TCU. And then who's coming out on top in the Big Ten? Michigan. Heavy, heavy, heavy favorites over Ohio State and Penn State. Look, as a Michigan fan throughout junior high, loving Denard Robinson, and then Jabril Peppers in high school when it was Wilton Spate in the backfield slinging the rock around. You know, the missed snap 
punt, it's like I've seen the lowest of lows and the highest of highs as a distant Michigan fan. Yes, we've beat Ohio State twice. Yes, we've been Big Ten champs. But also, yikes. Like, we showed up against Georgia, got whacked. Showed up against TCU, got whacked. Made it close there towards the end, but it's like, this season, I think there's a lot of question marks around everybody else besides Michigan because they are the heavy favorites. I think there's going to be that sneaky underdog team that comes in and absolutely smacks them in the mouth. Michigan has two tough road games, Penn State and Michigan State. If they lose those, they're done. Anyways, anyways, that's all uh, for the polls today. Sorry my voice sounds like really bad. I will try to catch you in the next video. Peace. Peace.